You know, the Lord said he going to turn, you know, make us fishes, which is the peaceful season, the lamb season, the sheep season, and then I shall make you hunters. So, yo, we about to become predators out in this motherfucker relationship, bro. You know, there's a video, though, I'm going to do a quick one on it. There's a video in a warehouse factory with the robot dogs. And they all, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if, I, I got it right here. Matter of fact, bro, you know what I'm going to do? Okay, yeah, yeah, if I, yeah, I hope it's on this phone because I got another phone right here. I saw here. a brother post a puppy, a puppy, puppy, fucking robot crap. Yeah, it's on that Oh, I got it. You can show it to the camera. It's like, you know, because I'm talking about it. I might as well just show it to the camera, right? You know, this shit right here. <laughs> this shit right here, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. You know, and, they, and yo, they all moving in unison with each other. Yeah, wow. Yo, y'all can see that from y'all yeah. feet, right? So, Damn, man. They all moving in unison, so they all be in control. Damn. Now, all they got to do is strap a, hold on, let me play it again. Damn. All they got to do is strap a goddamn yeah. Gatling gun, a machine gun. Yeah, yeah, which they got already, bro. But look at that. They all moving in unison. Yeah. Robocop. Yeah. Exactly. There's the Robocop, the new one. The exactly. Yeah. They, they, had just, they had just passed. They had written a bill in San Francisco. Play that one more time. To use... To use dog to use killer robots, robots as, as weapons. Yeah. And then it got shut down. That don't but it was only shut down temporarily. Yeah. That doesn't mean it, it, it could be so they still have it in the books. They just they, they're just gonna wait to fully implement it. Yeah, well, because, because, it because it causes mischief by law. Right, right frame it for mischief by law. Frame it for mischief by law. Yeah. You know, everything is about the wicked decree. He, that because that, that's what makes yeah. you prophetic. Right. Because you wrote it down and then it actually came to pass. Just like Yahweh by Shah. Yahweh Yahweh Shah is the word. So when the Most High sent forth the word, it came into fruition, it came in the flesh. So that made the Most High word supreme. That's how Esau wants to operate. He wants to make you think that he's the Most High by him putting it into fruition, by, the, by him in legislation, and then doing it. Wait, what's that? What's that? And in a movie, he's not talking about it. It's shit wicked. It's wicked, bro. You know the thing. The whole vibration of the devil is to mimic the most high. Yeah. So he has his robot, the most highest. Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh and his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles and the other bishops of Great Millstone who taught me the truth. And salutations to the elect scattered bro throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amawan Gabar, back with another quick lesson. Lord willing, it's edifying, straight to the point. And um, as you see on the screen, you know, um, we was getting into this briefly yesterday at the set down, New Year's Eve of Destruction, which 2023, as coined by the elder apostle Tahar, is 2023. The hopeful year that all the prophecies come to pass. All right, the hopeful year that all the prophecies come to pass. So, with that being said, Lord willing, this be the year that all the prophecies come to pass. You know, Abaratiza, Yahweh willing, Lord willing, this be the year that all the prophecies come to pass. You know, and we go into the prophecies that are left to come to pass, some of the major ones. The mass implementation and the mandating of the MOTB, all right, which is only one thing. It's not multiple things. It's not anything. It's not anything you want it to be. It's one thing. Scriptures tell you that in Peter's that we have a more sure word of prophecy, all right? You know, so we know what it is and we see it making its way to society. We see it. We see it making its way to society. So, Lord willing, look out for the mass implementation of the MOTB this year. Lord willing. All right. It's rolling in stages. And the, the current stage we're at right now is the, the rolling out of the CBDC, which is to stand for the Central Bank Digital Currency. We was getting into that last night as well. And I believe a brother made the statement that about 90% of the world countries have already began to institute this thing 
or to get it ready to be rolled out in the primary source of monetary exchange. You know, so we we already a step closer to that, to the MOTB. You know, so that's that's one of the major prophecies, and that have to happen before the kingdom is established, before World War Three. All right. And then you have also things such as Jacob's trouble. You know, the devil coming down with great wrath because that he know that he have a short time and. And this is what you are seeing on the screen, which is these is part of his, part of the, the, the toys he's gonna bring out when he comes down with that great wrath. Robot dogs. And we've been bringing this out, you know, over the past years, past few years about these robot dogs and weaponized, you know, RoboCop AI, artificial intelligence technology and so on and so forth. And as you've seen here, you know they are, are moving together in sync with each other in unison, perfect unison, showing you that they're being controlled by by a particular uh, brain, you know, some type of computer brain software, whatever that's controlling them. You know, and I made the statement last night: all they gotta do, which they are gonna do, is strap weapons to these things if they don't already have them. You know, they showed that in in, in several movies. I'm thinking of one right now that's on Netflix that. I can't um, call the name of it right now, but you had the same exact robot dogs with cameras on them, going through neighborhoods, surveilling with weapons on them. You know, so these are some of the toys that the devil is going to bring out in these last days. You know, um, San Francisco is already talking about killer do uh, killer robots. All right, killer robots, robots that actually kill. So when these are walking down the streets, man, you know, the reality that people once knew is going to change suddenly, you know, when these are rolling down the streets, you know, looking left and right, surveilling homes and whatever, however they're going to have it happen, people's perception of what reality is is going to change. And like you see here, this is from, I, f I found this on the internet, but it says, this is wild. Yeah, it's wild, but it's reality. All right, it's wild, but it's, it's reality, you know, and it's really not even that wild because this is the Heavenly Father putting the spirit on Esau to, to do these things and, you know, hey, prepare to see some things in 2023. Hopefully, this is the year that all the prophecies come to pass. So, without further ado, I pretty much just want to get into um, 2nd Ezra 16th chapter and down to... Verse um, 68 on down And that'll be that So this is 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and verse 68 It says behold The burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you And they shall take away certain of you And feed you being idle with things offered unto idols And that burning wrath is of these nations Alright because scripture tell you that these nations were incensed against us Alright incensed meaning to be burning all right they were burning against us in the sense of they were heated you know heated in, in anger intense rage at us the israelites that's why it's called jacob's trouble because the nations that great multitude are gonna come up against jacob yeah there's gonna be nations that are gonna get caught up in the mix but this is all to try to destroy the israelites which the lord is not gonna allow to happen you know, Esau is not going to get that blessing which was never his. You know, it was set up that we were going to get the blessing and he were he was not going to get the blessing. The elder shall serve the younger. That was all set up. You know, so what we're about to see is that burning wrath of a great multitude kindled against the Israelites. All right, via the form of Jacob's trouble. All right, via the form of Daniel's 12 and 1. Michael the archangel having to stand up. Because it's going to be a time such as never before seen on this earth. There's never been a time. That's why uh, technology and, and knowledge increasing. Like, it's, like I tell you in the book of Daniels. Alright. Knowledge is increasing. To speed up. You know prophecy in the latter days. Okay. Knowledge on all, all sides. All levels. So the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And they shall take away certain of you. And feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. Alright. Some people are going to get caught up in prison prison camps concentration camps you know and some people is going some people are gonna 
consent you know consent to the mot to the b you know consent to the to the will of this agenda that's why it says and they that consent unto them shall he shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot so that wrath is coming and a lot of people are going to be you know for, like their backs are going to be against the wall and a lot of people are going to consent unto the idol which the modern day idol is going to be in the form of the 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 MOTB you know and if they consent anybody consent are going to be in derision okay they're going to be in derision the lord is going to judge them the angels are going to kill them and ultimately the ICBM missile is going to destroy anybody that consent and trodden underfoot for this shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord who fear the Lord first and foremost the only ones that, that do fear the Lord are, the, are starting with the elect but Israelites this is talking about Israel okay they're going to come up against the Israelites you can see this in a lot of Jake neighborhoods you know you probably hardly going to see them in them rich Edomite suburban areas but really this is going to be rolled out in them Jake neighborhoods and them ghettos and the hoods and all that you know they shall be like madmen sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the lord so you saw it's going to be like a madman sparing none he's going to show his wrath all right he's going to show that wrath the devils come down with great wrath because you know that he have a short time all right they know that their time is short especially now in these days you know which is hence the reason they're going to come forth with these prophecies right come forth with their agenda and they're gonna be like madmen sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the lord there's gonna be a lot of blood on the streets it says for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their out of their houses you know they depict those in those movies and series where they got military coming into neighborhoods and in their military trucks and taking people out of their homes don't that's happening in china right now you know, to, to a certain degree, that's happening in China. You know, they got all these um, facilities set up, throwing them gooks up in there in the name of the C-19. You know, so when a, when a major and rail outbreak take place here in Babylon, forget about it. All bets are off. You know, they're going to come full-fledged. Remember all them, t them, them task force uh, what's that one task force, man? Um, uh, uh, warp speed, you know, Operation Warp Speed and all that. You know, we didn't see the full in, uh, intent of of those particular, um, for lack of a better term, agencies and, and task force that was set up. Remember, they still on they still on the books. They still on they still on the contracts. So we are gonna see them come out real soon. You know, people forgot about that, but we remember over here. Especially here at Great Millstone because our eyes are glued to the prophecies and we're paying attention through the spirit and power of Yahweh me Shalak. Like the scripture says, I will stand upon my watch. You know, we are constantly on our watch and watching to see what he will say. So we're watching every step of the way. You know, through the spirit, we can see that all the things that we've been watching and this division is becoming clearer and clearer and clearer every single day. We see that we almost out of here. You know, the destruction of Babylon just get clearer and clearer every day. You know, and after the destruction comes the deliverance. So, they, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their homes. And there's legislations and laws about where they could just seize your property in a time of war or something like that. I forget the NDARP, something, some one of them acronyms. But they can seize your property, take away your goods, your home, your cars, your resources. If you got X amount of stuff and they consider it hoarding, they could take it from you. So it says, verse 73, then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire. So with all this being said and done, the elect are going to be tried, you know, but they're going to overcome. The elect is going to overcome, you know, not going to take, not going to fall victim to the temptations and the, and the, um, the, the tribulations and all of that. And it's going to be known because the Lord is going to deliver the elect out of the, the troubles, you know, after the trials, after the troubles, the deliverance is going to come and then people are going to know. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. Alright. So it goes on to say. 
because they're gonna be trying to fight and it goes on to say hear O ye my beloved save the lord power yahweh bashmi i was shy behold the days of trouble are at hand but i will deliver you from the same so the days of trouble are at hand you know and that's some of the prophecies you know that that lord willing happen this year that the whole full year that all the prophecies come to pass we know that trouble got to happen before the deliverance you know we also have faith that the lord will deliver us from out of it tells you that hebrews 11 that they that serve the lord must believe that he's a reward of them well no scripture said without faith it is impossible to please him you know and also two scriptures say that they that serve the lord must believe that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so hero my beloved save the lord behold the days of trouble are here in jacob's trouble but i would deliver you from the same so expect great miracles expect deliverance expect you know mercy even with all all the the the, the, the destruction and death that's coming expect mercy and deliverances at the same time it says verse 75 be not afraid neither doubt for your power the most high yahweh is your guide so be not afraid neither doubt don't be afraid and don't doubt because the lord is your guide you know it says in the God of them who keep my commandments and my precepts which is his word all the whole book save the lord power let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves and that's some those consider and remember let not our sins weigh us down because we're in sinful flesh and we go off all the time we think our thoughts go off we go off in our thoughts you know we go off in our body you know but let not your sins weigh you down repent turn turn to the heavenly father seek him 10 times more you know keep on moving forward and also on the flip side let not your iniquities lift up in itself you know don't get let, let your iniquity your sin upon sin and you know don't be bound by it well it says it right here woe be unto them verse 77 woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities like as a field is covered over with bushes and the path thereof is covered with thorns that no man can travel through it is left undressed and is cast into fire to be consumed you know so like like a pictorial image like how um in the book of, well not the book oh excuse me the um shit, what is it called with will smith i am legend how manhattan the roadways and all that was just covered with bushes and thorns and because nobody was passing through you know so that's how you know don't let your sins cover you up like that you know because the only way to cleanse that is to get burnt up and consumed with fire you know just to give a pictorial image but um that's the chapter right there or them few verses but yeah this like the title said or the thing says here this is wild with that face but it's reality this is coming you know this is coming you know with guns and infrared you know um you know infrared laser beams and all this other stuff on it radios on him telling people you know alarms giving instructions and whatever but at the same time like we was getting into that's why the lord is going to have to raise up his men with spiritual power to defend against these things you know um uh, we went into isaiah 59 you know a few scriptures um jeremiah 51 uh, a few went, went into a few last night but the hedge of protection is coming. That standard is going to be raised up and lifted in these latter days, which is another part of the all the prophecies of the Lord coming to pass, the Lord willing. Spiritual power, miracles, and, and mercy, and just deliverance. So that's that's pretty much it. You know, I pray and hope to Yahweh Bashmi Aushai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, that this was an edifying lesson to the elect of the nation of Israel. Till next time I say Shalom.